to talk to you a little bit about choice points today. I was uh, I was having a late morning this morning. I've had a few days where, um, probably more like a few months, where the change that I've been asking for has created this this space where I I literally have no reference points. You know, no one I can call. No no one that's actually gonna be able to tell me what to do next, or or even even necessarily give me the questions I can ask. And, uh, you know, and I've got all kinds of tools, you know, I've got like a whole, I've got a whole toolbox, a whole shed of tools. And, and it's still been like this, this space of just change that for the first time, it's taken me a while to, or what feels like a while to assimilate and be with and, and really go, okay, now what choices do I have here that I've never had before? And so I took yesterday off and, and, and I, and I had this date and I was kind of scrolling through Facebook and I was flipping through videos and, you know, it's probably an hour past and I looked at the clock and it was 10 o'clock and I, I realized what was going on with my day, that my day was going on kind of without me and that, and, and that what I was choosing wasn't, and, and then what I got in that second was that I was actually scrolling to find the inspiration for what it was I wanted to do with my day instead of actually choosing it. And there's been this awareness that I've had lately that that there's so much of what I'd like to create in the world that I that I keep as a fantasy, that I keep as a hope, that I keep as like, yeah, that dream. But but when I look at that dream, it's so uncomfortable that I don't necessarily know what to do or know how to do it or or if I can do it, you know. And so I go to the space of of not choosing instead. And and my life is asking, is constantly asking for greater and more. And, and, and there's this energy in my face right now, in my body that I can feel, that I can perceive that's like thrumming. And, and the things that are popping out of that energy are, are wildly uncomfortable. And I watched this video this morning about, which I'm so grateful for, called Brave Soul about how we rarely acknowledge that, that the choices that we're making and the, and the change we're asking for means that we're, we're a brave soul. And so the, the two things I want to invite you today are, are this, like, one, would you be willing to take a, a minute, five minutes to really acknowledge that everything you've chosen has gotten you to here and, and that everything you've chosen means that you are one brave soul. And two, to start looking at these moments in your day where you've got a choice. You know, in Access, we talk about having a choice in every 10 seconds. Like you have a choice in this 10 seconds, and now in this 10 seconds, and now in this 10 seconds. And in this 10 seconds, I could choose to watch Facebook videos all day until I get inspired or not, or until the afternoon comes, and then I'm like wondering what my day did. Or, or I could get up in the morning like and, and, and do something totally different. And that's what I'm inviting to you to look at is like, what could you choose today in this 10 seconds that would be totally different than what you would have chosen in that 10 seconds or what you were thinking about choosing that would actually give you more information and more awareness of, around what it is you're aware of, the energies you're aware of, that, that nondescript stuff that you're aware of that's asking to come through you. What totally different choice could you make today that would give you the, the awareness you've been asking for it? that could inform what you could choose next and might just actualize what it is you know is possible on the planet. I'm Crystal Crawford. I'll talk to you soon.